Thank you for taking the time and commitment to your health by viewing this grocery shopping tour video. In this video, we hope to teach you ways that you can shop healthier. Stocking your home with the right foods is very important, and it begins at the grocery store. Making a few simple changes to the way you shop can make a big difference in the health of you and your family. In the supermarket, you will usually find the best nutritional choices around the perimeter or outer sections of the grocery store. The outer aisle should be the first place you go for the majority of your shopping. The interior aisles generally contain packaged and processed foods that should be limited. It is also important to eat before you shop. Shopping on an empty stomach can increase your impulse purchases and make it more difficult to stick to your list. Another suggestion to be mindful of when you're shopping is to search high and low when looking for the most nutritious foods. Often when healthier items are placed on high or low shelving in the grocery store rather than at eye level, which is usually reserved for the more popular unhealthier versions of the same products. Another key component to eating healthy is planning out your food choices. Without a variety of healthy meal options, it's easy to resort to takeout meals or other unhealthy options. Foods consumed away from home are usually overloaded with calories and fat, as well as added sugar and sodium. Grocery shopping can be easy when you have a plan in mind and a prepared list in hand. Planning out a menu for the entire week will save time and keep you on track once you're in the store. While your meal plan does not have to dictate your upcoming week, you should do your best to stick to it. Some questions to consider when you're planning your grocery list are, how busy is my week? What nights can I cook dinners? What nights will I have to rely on leftovers? And what will they be? Are there new meals or recipes I want to try out? What ingredients do I already have? And did I include healthy snack options? Before your next grocery shopping trip, it's important to understand what the nutritional claims you see on packaging really mean. Let's take a moment to cover some common nutritional claims you may see. Products that have the word low in them refers to a product that has a low enough amount of a nutrient to allow frequent intake without concern about going over dietary recommendations. You may see this used in combination with sodium, calories, fat, saturated fat, and cholesterol. Products that have the word light on the label tells you that the product has one-third fewer calories or 50% of the fat found in a comparable product. Products may claim to be high, rich in, or an excellent source of a particular nutrient. This means that the product has at least 20% of the daily value for a nutrient. The word lean, when seen on food labeling, refers to meat or poultry products with less than 10 grams of fat less than 4.5 grams of saturated fat, and less than 95 milligrams of cholesterol per serving. Extra lean is telling you the product has less than 5 grams of fat, less than 2 grams of saturated fat, and contains 95 milligrams of cholesterol or less per serving. The word free on a product label is a claim that the product has virtually none of a particular nutrient. You may see the word free referring to calories, sugar, gluten, sodium, fat, and also cholesterol. Be aware that most fat and sugar-free products contain artificial ingredients that are not beneficial to your health. One label you may want to look for at the grocery store is the symbol from the American Heart Association. Products with this symbol on them indicate that they are foods low in saturated fat and cholesterol and are healthy choices for your heart. Now that we have covered a few basic shopping principles, you're ready to shop. As you navigate your way around the grocery store, the first area you will most likely see is the colorful produce section. The produce section is the one section where more is better. Aim to eat five to nine servings every day. Fruits and vegetables help to keep us feeling full because they are high in volume and fiber and low in calories. In terms of optimal nutrition and enzyme content, you are best off eating fresh, raw produce. If you can't eat fresh, the next best option is frozen produce because it's packed at the peak of freshness and is usually just as nutritious. One suggestion for buying produce is try to buy a variety of colors. Dark green and deep orange colored vegetables tend to be rich in many nutrients. You also should look for seasonal buys Buying fruits and vegetables in season will help you save money. 
Convenient produce items such as pre-cut and washed packages of carrots, salads, apples, vegetables, and fruit trays tend to cost a little bit more, but may be worth it to save time. These products are handy when you are packing lunches, snacks, or trying to control portion sizes. Anything that will encourage you to include more servings of fruits and vegetables in your day may be worth the slight extra cost of convenience. One thing that you'll need to consider when buying produce is whether to buy organic or conventional fruits and vegetables. Choosing organic products is the best option when it comes to reducing your exposure to pesticides, herbicides, hormones, and genetically modified organisms, or GMOs as they are commonly called. To find a product with 100% organic ingredients, simply look for the PLU code sticker that starts with the number 9. Conventional produce will start with the number 4. Organic items are usually slightly higher in price than their conventional counterparts. If you would like to buy organic while still adhering to a budget, aim to buy these fruits and vegetables organic whenever possible. These varieties have been shown to have the highest pesticide residue and are called the Dirty Dozen. Apples, celery, spinach, peaches, nectarines, grapes, sweet bell peppers, potatoes, blueberries, lettuce, cucumbers, and strawberries. These next varieties of fruits and vegetables have been shown to have lower pesticide residue and may not make a major difference between buying organic versus the conventional variety. These are referred to as the Clean 15. Onions, sweet corn, pineapples, avocado, asparagus, sweet peas, mangoes, eggplant, cantaloupe, kiwi, cabbage, watermelon, sweet potatoes, grapefruit, and mushrooms. With organic foods, you get the same nutritional benefits with fewer pesticides. However, eating plenty of produce, whether conventional or organic, is important for your health, regardless of what type it is. The next section of the store we will explore is the dairy and egg section. Your best options for dairy are organic, non-fat, or low-fat products. Aim for one to three servings of dairy each day. If you are unable to consume dairy products due to lactose intolerance, other medical conditions, or you do not prefer dairy, there are many non-dairy sources of calcium that you can find in the stores as well. Some non-dairy alternatives that contain calcium include almond, coconut, or hemp milk, fortified cereals, canned salmon, trout, lobster, tofu, legumes, kale, spinach, and broccoli. Usually you will find eggs in the same section as dairy. Choosing a good carton of eggs may be harder than you think. Labels on eggs can be difficult to understand. There are so many different label claims it's hard to know which one is best. To help you make a more informed choice, let's briefly look at what each label actually means. When you see the label Certified Organic, you should know that this is one of the best options since organic eggs must come from chickens that are not caged, have the chance to roam, and are not treated with hormones or antibiotics. Cage-free means the hens are not caged, but this does not necessarily mean they have plenty of room to roam. The hens are usually held inside a barn or hen house where the living conditions can vary greatly. Free range means the hens are not caged and have some access to the outdoors, but it is unregulated and difficult to know how long the hens spend outside. Omega-3 means the hens were fed a diet with omega-3 rich fish oil or flaxseed. This is beneficial, but it is also unregulated. And all natural. Any producer can put this label on their carton. The label all natural has no meaning. Take these label claims into consideration the next time you're choosing the right egg for you. The next section of the store we will look at is the meat, poultry, and fish section. When shopping for meat, look for lean cuts like round, top sirloin, and tenderloin. You should also try to choose grass-fed meat whenever possible. In selecting meats, choose fresh sliced meat over heavily processed meats such as hot dogs, sausage, salami, bacon, corned beef, and deli meats, which may contain harmful preservatives. If you see a considerable amount of white marbling throughout a cut of meat, chances are it is high in fat. Poultry is usually located in the same section as the meat and can make a great addition to your diet. When selecting poultry, try to avoid or limit chicken or turkey nuggets and patties, 
as they are made with brown skin and have a high amount of salt and additives. Fish is also located near the poultry and meat. It is recommended to eat fatty fish high in omega-3 fatty acids, such as mackerel, lake trout, herring, sardines, tuna, and salmon, at least two times per week. When choosing types of fish to buy, it is beneficial to limit fish that is fried, breaded, or packed in oil. If possible, choose wild varieties of salmon and canned light tuna instead of albacore to reduce your exposure to mercury, PCBs, and other contaminants. When considering all meals with meat, poultry, and fish, it is important to remember to keep portion sizes moderate. The American Heart Association recommends consuming no more than six ounces of lean meat and poultry per day. There are many other healthy plant-based protein alternatives to meat that you may choose. Some example of these can include dried beans, peas, lentils, tempeh, and tofu. These also have an added bonus of extra fiber. Moving on in the store, we will look at bread, cereals, pasta, and other whole grains. There are a few things to consider when looking for the most nutritious bread products to buy. When comparing nutritional labels in the bread section, you should always make sure the first ingredient is whole wheat flour or whole meal flour. Remember, the first ingredient should always include the word whole. Try and choose bread that contains at least three grams of fiber per serving. Be advised that bread high in fiber does not mean that it is a whole grain bread. Also, the terms wheat flour, durum wheat, semolina, multigrain, bran, and wheat germ do not necessarily mean the bread is whole grain either. The color of the bread is also not an indication of whether it is whole grain, as some manufacturers add caramel coloring to their bread to make it look like a whole grain product. These breads look similar, but one is made with healthy whole grains, and the other has caramel coloring added to it. Be sure to look closely at the labels to know exactly what you are getting. As you choose whole grain breads, do not forget about whole grain cereals and pastas as well. You can add variety to your meals by choosing brown rice, quinoa, barley, and whole wheat couscous. When choosing cereals, limit those that list sugar as the first or second ingredient and aim for less than 10 grams of sugar per serving. You should aim to eat three servings of whole grain foods every day and make at least half of your grains whole grains. We will now learn what to look for when shopping for fats and oils. There are three different types of fat, which include saturated, unsaturated, and trans fats. Trans fats are particularly unhealthy and should be avoided. Trans fats are found in processed foods that are usually listed in the ingredients as partially hydrogenated vegetable oil. The healthiest sources of fat to look for in the store can be found in plant foods, such as olive oil, nuts, seeds, avocados, and coconut oil, to name a few. It is important to remember that eating fat is usually not the cause of weight gain. Do not skimp on healthy fats and try to choose foods high in unsaturated fats. Next, we will move on to the snack aisle. Most people who lose weight and keep it off do not skip meals or wait until they are ravenously hungry before they eat. By eating small snacks between meals and spreading snacks throughout your day, your metabolism stays elevated, blood sugar remains stable, and your cravings are lessened. Usually when people think of snacks, they tend to think of foods that are high in sugar, salt, and fat. Foods such as whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and low-fat dairy are much better choices. Some examples of healthy snack options may be almonds with an apple, Greek yogurt with berries, peanut butter on whole grain crackers, cottage cheese and pineapple, baby carrots dipped in hummus, or roasted chickpeas. When choosing snacks, look for those with the shortest list of ingredients. It's also important to pay attention to the serving size of your snack. It's easy to eat the entire package of a snack, which may actually contain multiple servings and excessive calories. More choices you will encounter in the store are which beverages to buy. Water should usually be your first choice when filling your cart. Water restores fluids and you should aim for at least eight cups a day. Next on your list should be plain tea or coffee. Coffee and tea are both calorie free and brimming with antioxidants. However, be careful when adding creams and sugars as those will quickly add extra calories and fat to your diet. Milk products may be a good beverage choice as they provide many nutritional benefits, but limit yourself to one to three cups of low-fat milk products per day. Also, try to avoid diet or calorie-free drinks as they usually contain artificial sweeteners. 
Although artificially sweetened drinks do not contribute to your daily calorie intake, the chemicals in them may still contribute to weight gain and cause other adverse health effects over time. Be sure to read the label when selecting beverages such as fruit juices, sport drinks, flavored coffees, vitamin-enhanced waters, smoothies, and energy drinks. Although these types of drinks may seem healthy, they are usually high in sugar and also add unwanted calories to your diet. A common assumption that many people have is that it costs more to buy healthy foods. Here are some simple tips for your next trip to the store that will help you stay on budget. Plan ahead and reduce food waste. Look to see what food items you already have at home and make meal plans around those items so you use up all your food efficiently. Using leftover vegetables, poultry, or meat in soups, stews, salads, and casseroles saves you money. Buy produce in season. Produce that is in season is usually priced to sell since it is more abundant. Local farmers markets usually have fresh, affordable produce that is in season. Use frozen fruits and vegetables. Frozen fruits and vegetables are usually just as nutritious and significantly cheaper than buying fresh. Buy generic brands. Consider buying generic brands instead of pricier national brands whenever possible. The products are usually very similar, but sold for less. And buy in bulk. Buying food items in bulk with coupons and when items are on sale is a great way to save money, but only if the items will get used. You have heard a lot of information, but don't be overwhelmed. If you own a smartphone, there are some great tools available that can make your next grocery store trip even better. There are hundreds of apps that can help you shop healthier and make more informed food choices at the store. One feature you may want to look for when choosing a smartphone app is the app's ability to scan product barcodes. Many apps allow you to simply scan the barcode of a food item and will then analyze the nutritional panel as well as the ingredient list for that product. That data is then used to create an overall grade for the food product. And many apps will also recommend healthier choices of similar products that you have scanned. Many apps use the scanned information to give you product highlights, both good and bad. Other features to look for when choosing an app is the ability to enter your personal health goals, ingredients you may want to avoid, food preferences, or chronic conditions you may have. There are also many apps that have a variety of list-making features. Smartphones can be a great tool to use, and there are many apps out there, so find one that fits your specific needs. In summary, here are some final points to remember on ways you can shop healthy on your next trip to the grocery store. Remember to plan out your menu for the week prior to shopping and be sure to stick to it. Buy more fruits and vegetables and aim for a variety of colors. Do the majority of your shopping on the perimeter of the store where the most nutritious, minimally processed food is located. Eat before you go and don't allow yourself to shop hungry. Search high and low for the healthiest options as most nutritious foods are often above or below eye level. Stay on budget. Remember that shopping healthy can be done for close to the same cost and is usually much cheaper than dining out. Understand what product labels mean and seek out the best options for your health. And use technology to help you make better product choices while you shop. Thank you for taking the time to view this grocery store tour. Now you will be better prepared to make healthier, more informed choices on your next trip to the grocery store. Have fun shopping!